about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know hello everybody welcome back my name is sandra i'm just going to adjust adjust the camera just a little bit um so today i am doing my makeup for red deer we're getting ready to go and i think i'm vlogging the trip I know I suck at vlogging. Like all of my vlogs have been basically me talking to the camera. Haven't really been able to follow up and actually take you guys to a brewery. So I'm gonna see if I can do that this time because I think it'd be really fun. Um, I'm gonna have to ask permissions and all that, so it's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna involve my kids more because I think it'd be fun to look back on that as well and like see the memory of my kids. So right now I literally have like 15 minutes to get ready. I'm already behind schedule. I was supposed to be up here at 7 o'clock and it's 7.25. So I'm going to start with my In Beauty Project Extreme Cream. I'm going to use this as a primer. And I'm just going to use two pumps. So it's a very um, minimal amount of product here. And actually, I might use a different primer on top of this. Um, let's see. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go into my Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Gem. I haven't used this product that often. Looks like my daughter got into this product. <laughs> it's like, if you have kids, do your kids try to get into your makeup? I mean, that's a thing, right? It's not just me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to smooth this. I would normally just put this like over the areas that I have problems with pores, but I have problems on my forehead where the product sinks into my 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 expression lines because I have quite a few of those. And around my nose, onto my cheeks. Okay, yeah, so we're leaving for Red Deer today. The goal is one o'clock. We're always running late though, so I'm, I'm really hoping that we can do one o'clock. I told my husband to have his bag packed, and of course he didn't. He never thinks ahead. So most likely we're going to be running behind unless I've got everything packed in my Jeep ready to go. I don't know if it's doable, but I'm going to try. Okay, so now I'm going to use my um, foundation. I think I'm going to use my House Labs. Um, this is the shade 190 Light Cool. I'm going to use my trusty sponge. And I will be back as soon as I'm done blending this out. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It makes my face look really nice. I like how it makes my face look. Um, and before I do concealer, I'm going to go in with my, um, this is my new Too Faced Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick in Chocolate Caramel. It's a dark shade, and I realized I can totally use it for um like bronzing so that's what i'm gonna use it for and i'm just going to use this to blend it in and it's just going to give my face some warmth And you know what? I need to add some of my temples too, I think. Product. I never really used much cream before, um, and I've really been starting to love it. The thing I like about it is that it it's so, like especially when it comes to contour or bronzer, um, blush, I don't love it as much because it does seem to melt into the skin easier and it kind of disappears on me. Blush has a tendency to do that already. Um, but with... Bronzing and contour, it's very forgiving. So if you feel like you've applied a heavy hand, it doesn't really matter because you don't really see it. Um, yeah, I, that's what I like about it. Okay, so I might add some bronzer on there just to emphasize my, my tan. Um, I'll probably use my Fenty bronzer. Um, but for now, for now, I am going to quickly go off camera and do brows. I will return in just a sec. All right, guys, so that is done. 
Um, now I'm going to go into concealer. So I'm going to use my NARS. Um, this one is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Light 2.6 Cafe Con Leche. And of course, my Light Reflecting Eye Brightener in Night Swan. So I'm going to use a little bit of the eye um, brightener. I'm going to use my HD brush. This is by Sigma. It's called a Precision Brush for the HD. It's like this little pyramid thing. Um, and it kind of gets right into the crevices where you need it. Just, you know, just a little pop of brightener. I mean, you can use a concealer brush just like this too. So um, that's just a little bit to brighten. And I'm going to go into my soft matte and touch that up. Also, I'm going to take the tip of my brush, dip it into the pop concealer. I've really been loving these concealers lately. Like as opposed to like the wand ones that I have. And I can't exactly tell you why, it just, I don't know. I've just been appreciating them a lot, just a little tiny bit. I don't need to overdo it. Um, and I'm gonna use a new, oh dear. I'm gonna use a new blush. Um, I've really been stuck on my makeup, my Mario blushes, but my husband bought this for me a while back and it's called the Elf Putty Blush. And this is the shade Tahiti, and I love that name, Tahiti. Anything to do with hibiscus, like tropical, anything, I love it. So just, it's a small little um, tub of, of blush. This is the shade, and I think it's really beautiful. We're going to use this today. So again, I'll dip into it with my sponge. I think it's pretty forgiving from what I understand. Yeah, it barely shows up, I feel like. And I'm dipping it in pretty pretty good. I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. I like to balance up my blush. Okay, and now it's time to set. So... I'm going to try to do this very, very minimally. Um, I will be buffing out my forehead expression lines. Okay, and then um, I think everything else is not bad. My under eyes are pretty good. I'll use my Easy Bake by Huda Beauty. I love this. I love this powder more, almost more than the... Um, Oh, goodness gracious, the, uh, the loose powder. So they become my favorite powder. So I kind of set the most important spots. <laughs> By important, I mean those that crease first. So under the eyes, my forehead expression lines, around my nose. And I use a small brush for that, and then I go into this really fat, wide brush. And I just like, you know, add a little bit of powder to it and then gently run the brush around my face. You don't need much and I don't need much to set my makeup on the outside of my face, like around my jaw, my cheek area. The only thing is like, if you're not used to wearing makeup, it's easy to like want to touch your face all the time. So that's the only thing you have to remember not to do. Okay, so now just um, to touch up a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is the Sun Stalker Instant Warmth in Caramel Cutie. And I'm taking this really big fluffy brush. And I'm adding bronzer to my forehead, my temples. Um, warming up my cheeks a bit. I know I added blush, but we'll have to go over that with another color. Adding to my nose. Okay. And then we're going to go into a um, blush for blush, a brush for blush. And we're going to stick with the, uh, the tropical theme here. So I'm going to go into my House Labs um, Color Fuse Blush in Hibiscus Haze. So I think this is before they changed the pan sizes. I got this one before. It's like the silver um, package. And I'm adding this on top of my powder. And it just lets me 
make sure like that my blush stays put because honestly guys blush fades so quickly and I always end up making my blush darker than I initially think or I never do I, I feel like I do and then when I go do my eye makeup it just looks like the blush is lost so I always go in with extra blush okay so now it's time for eye makeup um, before I go any further I'm going to spray my face I feel sad to say that I'm actually like getting a little tired of all my palettes. I don't know why, but that's what I feel like. I'm going to go into the Cosmos palette by Anastasia. I haven't used this in a while, and um, I think the shades are really pretty. We're going to start off with a general blend. So I'm going to start with Space Dust right here. Okay, and this goes in the crease. I'm using a large fluffy brush to really beef it up and try to make this go as quick as I can. <laughs> I realize I'm pressed for time. It's already 7.41. And while it's not super important that my son be on school time today, like he doesn't have to be there exactly. At, like his, he's supposed to be there for around 8.30. Um, and while it's not super important he's on time today, I still don't want to be late. And because uh, I've got lots to do for packing wise and stuff, I might do a quick vlog of my packing. And um, <laughs> also the... Um, I'm going to say yesterday I was in a rush because um, I had to take my daughter for her vaccine her immunization appointment right after I dropped my son off at school and then I was I was in a super big rush okay I'm going to go into Comet now which is more of like a, a rose toned color again I'm staying to the crease same brush here And I'm going to go into a smaller brush. This is an E27 blending. And I'm going to add um, Space Dust. Actually, no, I'm going to add Mars, which is a darker um, brown color. I'm going to add this to the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm going into Space Dust to blend that out. So I'm going to go into the same brush and go into Mars again. And I'm going to add this on the outside corner of my lid. I'm going to bring it up to the crease and just gently blend just to get a really nice soft blend right there. And I'm just blending it out so I hardly added any color and um, I'm just going to do an initial blend. I'm going back in with a little bit more to deepen it up now. I'll blend this out as well. Okay, and that looks so pretty. Just gonna add a touch more here. And I'm gonna keep it on the warm side. I'm not gonna go into like the dark blues or anything. I'm gonna keep it with this color here. Okay, and then instead of dirtying my finger, I'm gonna go in with a wet brush. So I'm going to go into this E25. Um, I'm going to wet the brush. And I'm going to use 
I don't know if I want Sun or Orion. This is a pink color and this is like a goldy color. I'm going to start with the pink on the brush and add this to the middle of the lid. Oh, that was a good choice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pack this on the entire lid. I really like that color. That just shows up so pretty with that um, setting spray. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry. And then I'm gonna go back into Mars and add a little bit more to the outer corner and then just blend the two together here. That is so pretty. Okay, I think that's all I need for the lid. Um, I wouldn't mind adding a little bit of sparkle to the lower lash line um, because I love sparkle. So I'm going to take a little lip brush, wet that as well, go back into Orion and just add this like right down here on the inside corner. Not really the inside corner, but just under the lash line closer to the inner corner. Okay, just like that. Um, I think that's so pretty. I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and just blend in the crease one more time. Okay, I love this palette. I don't know how much this is. Such, such a nice palette. I'm going to line my water lines with a brown liner. Okay, and then I'm also going to line the upper lash line with my black liquid liner. I usually don't do a thick line there. It's usually pretty quick and it's simply to make my lash line look a little bit darker so I can add lashes. So I'm going to go off camera, do mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Panorama mascara and add some lashes and we'll be right back. Okay guys, I think I'm successful there. That was extremely difficult because I started without my tweezer and then I realized how invaluable they actually were. So I was like, I need to go down and get them. They were in my purse from uh, last date night. So I was like, okay, yeah, this isn't going to work without my tweezers. And then, of course, because I'm in a rush, I, you know, they just didn't work out for me. So that is the general consensus with lashes. Do not be in a rush and do not overuse your glue. Enough said. Okay, so now for liner, I'm going in with the shade Bite Me. It's a darker brown. I'm going to line my lips. Okay, and then I'm going to use a gloss. I think I'm going to use this gloss um, called Ingenuity. It is the um, Bare Minerals, let's see, Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm. This is really nice if you don't want a full lipstick, and it smells really good too. And that's it for this makeup look. As long as those lashes don't come off, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and give another spray. And as per usual, I leave all of the items I've used in this look down below. So go ahead and check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, continue following along on my other channel for the Red Deer vlog for May, um, May Victoria long weekend. And I will see you guys soon. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe and click on the bell button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know.